We love going through these 13F filings because it, gave, it basically gives us a, an inside glimpse into what of these big hedge funders are looking into. If you look at, I mean, AI is, is a big bet for almost everyone. Yeah, so especially when it comes to the family office's name, that's uh, David Tepper's uh, Appaloosa and Drunken Miller's Duquesne. Both showed a quite a sizable position building in AI names, one of them being in NVIDIA. Uh, both of those funds increased their exposure uh, in the first quarter. And uh, Tepper's fund uh, made some new positions in Kathy Wood's ARK Innovation Fund. And then when it comes to Drunken Miller, yeah, he invested quite largely in Microsoft last quarter, who is a, a, an investor at OpenAI who holds Old chat GBT. He also invested in a healthcare AI company and Alphabet. Those were of his new uh, positions. But it seems like that NVIDIA holding that they're building, uh, you know, NVIDIA ha has been a stock that has gone up almost 100% in the first quarter. It's been really a beneficiary of this AI uh, buzz. But, you know, in these 13F filings, we only know their, their holdings at the end of the first quarter. So it's a bit unclear whether they're chasing the trade or hopefully they were in it uh, from the beginning. If Q1 and benefited from it. Yeah, also unclear to me actually whether Burry, I mean, so he made his name as a contrarian, right? This, mm -hmm. this is all, we know him because of 2008 and some of the bets that he took in, in subprime there. Is this because he's bullish on China or he just thinks that the fears on China have been overdone? Well, look, the fears on China have really only escalated in the past you know, few weeks when the Chinese data has soured. Uh, you know, if you go back and see when he initiated these positions, it was clearly just bullish on the China reopening narrative, which has been thrown a bit of cold water on when we've gotten some sour data like the data we got overnight from China. Uh, but he is a bit contrarian, especially when it comes to his holdings of U.S. regional banks. The 13F filings showed that he hold, held First Republic, PAC West, and Western Alliance. Now, that stands at a, a bit of of a contrast to what we've heard from Warren Buffett, Berkshire Hathaway, who's kind of soured on the U.S. regional banks, yeah. and the 13F filings there uh, showed that Berkshire actually exited their positions totally of BNY Mellon and U.S. Bank Corp.